Okay, good afternoon. I don't know whether there were people um, present yesterday in our talk. Okay, fine, then I can afford to have some overlap. Uh, I'm trying the clicker, okay. Just as a background, uh, our company was founded in 2014, Procedix. I'm now talking about the digital workflow uh, company and solution. We were founded in 2014 with uh, the idea of to explore what we could do with the Google Glass and Enterprise. Uh, and one of the things we constantly uh, got as a question was, can we put instructions on that Google Glass? Because that would allow us to guide somebody hands-free. And so that was the start of the development of our platform. We have a background in manufacturing uh, for about uh, 20 years, and we borrowed a lot of that uh, knowledge to, uh, to build our solution. In the meantime, we have offices in Ghent, in Belgium, and in the US, San Francisco, New York, uh, and we rely on a partner network. Uh, another thing, we seem to be innovative as we get quite a bit uh, of rewards from uh, customers and from uh, this year from Frost & Sullivan North America that gave us an award on uh, as innovative uh, product for 2019. Maybe illustrating for the market is this. We've been commercially active since 2017. We built a number of customers. End of 2018, we were with 30 customers uh, doing 12,000 executions uh, with 1,200 users. We have more this year only we have more contracts, more users, and sometimes with one deal more users than we used to build up uh, the years before. It illustrates that the market is maturing and it's picking up uh, this type of solution. What are we doing? As I said, we uh, focus on uh, hands-free instructions, or instructions not hands-free, but then it's with a tablet or a phone to guide people at work. And uh, the idea is that all those deskless operators out there, they need to do their job right, first time preferably, and we try to guide them and replace paper by a digital solution. But it's easier said than done to replace a PDF, which is a traditional uh, instruction uh, format and uh, carrier. It's easier said than done to replace that by a, um, a solution that guides somebody while doing the work. Why? Because whenever I give you a document, a document is meant to read, to be reading. But when you're reading a document, you're not working anymore. So you're sitting down, you're concentrating on the document, you start to read. When you start to guide people at work, it's a different ball game. You almost try to do something that is not possible. You're trying to tell them what to do, asking them to follow what you're telling them to do and keep continue working. And that's a difficult thing, doing two things at the same time. For most people, it's mission impossible. Now, we've been building up in the first years, fortunately, working with that Google Glass and working with surgeons, which is the ultimate demanding deskless worker, we've been learning a lot and we distillated a few principles from uh, our collaboration with these people. And the first one is this, if you're at work and you're focused on your job, you don't want to get distracted. So if I need to tell you something, do this or do it that way, it should be snackable in a blink. So very visual. Second thing, it must be accessible while you're working. So a Google Glass, another glass, it's on your nose, it's hands-free, it's accessible while working. And can we bring up the slides back? Okay, uh, it's accessible while working, while if you have to walk to a monitor, you would be surprised how many people walk miles in a day to a terminal to type in info, by the time they get there, they forgot what they were coming to do. 
And the third thing is it needs to match your workflow. I can give you very valuable, sorry, very correct information, but not valuable because I'm giving you the right information at the wrong time. And then it's distracting you. It's an annoying thing or an irritating thing. And the, th the fourth thing is when I give you an instruction, okay, an instruction, it's a one size fit fits all in companies today. That's not right. life. Life is I'm experienced, you're not, or the opposite. I need more information or I need less. And so when you are not taking care of those things, you are going to send too much information, the wrong things at the wrong moment, and not readable. And, and the only result you get is people print those instructions, they put them aside, they don't look at them, and then they sign off at the end and everybody's happy. But nobody used it. That's the reality today, and that's what we try to solve with Proceedix, a digital platform where you can formulate, not a document, but a graphical workflow, step by step what you need to do, how you need to do it, and then we send it to all kinds of devices. It can be a PC, we're on Windows, we're on iOS, we're on uh, Android, we're on glasses, Google, Iristic, Realware, you name it. And we send it to those devices, to people wearing them. People are logged in, they get what they need to do, and then they start doing it. And while they're doing it, they say, yeah, I've done it, it's okay. No, here is a picture. That didn't work out very well. Uh, some comments, uh, a value that they've been reading, they capture all that stuff. And in the meantime, the device also sends information to our platform. The device knows who's working. When is he starting? When did he stop? Uh, and so on. Where is he situated? And all these things get locked into a unique execution and that we can send through integration API to an MES, to an ERP, or some a limb system, or something else. And now you, there is a suddenly another difference. You not only sent information to somebody, but you also registered what he did with it. And so a document, we don't know. Did you read it? No idea. But now we know the first step and the second step you did in 10 seconds. You probably just did this. And Maybe you were spending five minutes on the second or the third step. Was it not clear? Did something go wrong? So you know much more uh, and you have a compliance proof that you've been uh, using uh, the right instructions and applying them. And so this is the big difference. This is a document from a calibration in a lab from uh, an, uh, a machine calibration. It's typical, some uh, pictures, some uh, annotations on those pictures, a bunch of text, and the only thing you can say is, I have to sit down to read that. I can't do that while I'm calibrating a machine. If you want to do that while calibrating a machine, we have to formulate it differently. We have to say step one, and a very simple information. Step two, uh, lift up the cover this way. Step three, do that. And now I can start to follow it and uh, execute it. And not only I can follow it and execute it on a mobile phone, I can as well do these things, on, uh, project them on these small displays of a, uh, a smart glass. That's the inside of an heuristic, for example. And I can say, rather than clicking, because I cannot click on a phone, you can tap. Here I can say proceed, and you will continue. And so. It works on all kinds of devices. And the other thing is this. So we get information from external systems, like an ERP system, like an MES system. I'll give an example. An MES system launches a production batch in manufacturing, pharmaceutical industry, whatever. And because you launch a new product, somebody needs to do a line clearance of the machine, a cleaning of the machine, a changeover on the machine. And that needs to happen step by step according to an instruction. So the MES system launches the batch. Because of that, we get a pulse. That crew should now execute a cleaning and start to do that step by step this way. And so through our integration API, we get that. The crew gets the instruction. 
executes it step by step, we log everything, and we send it back to the MES. And now we, only, we can not only send, yeah, the cleaning is done, you can start opening the valves, and uh, the, batch, the, the vessels can be filled. No, we can also log every step that, what, that happened in the cleaning. If we have an issue afterwards, we can come back to it, and we can find out what went wrong. The other thing that we do is not only can we connect with all these devices, we are also capable to, through a technology that we developed, we are also capable to connect with external devices while you're doing a cleaning or another instruction. For example, I'm here, I'm looking at a vessel, I can only see the, ins the outside of the vessel, question mark, what's the temperature, what's the pressure in the vessel? Through our web services, and IoT connectors, we can get on the spot the evolution of the temperature or the uh, pressure in the vessel, which might be important for the one that executes the procedure uh, because it might uh, influence what he needs to do. And the other thing is this, and then I connect a little bit with what Philip is going to explain. We found out a couple of things. For years now, we are working in manufacturing in operations, in technical services, and we realize that di uh, digital workflows, it sounds simple, it's pretty complex. It's pretty complex because you have a bunch of weird things in, in industry that happen, like if you tell me it's that big, or it's that small, or it's that dirty, you need to do something totally different. Conditional logics, you can't start this before I did that. All of that complexity, it requires a lot of, of, of programming, and I would call it this way. When you look at our app, you see the top of the iceberg. Because most of it is under the level of the surface. It's all that workflow complexity on our back end that takes all of the energy that we spend on our platform. But it's that what differentiates us. And as we focus, we see that it's not only about informing an operator, on what to do and how to do it, but at some point in time, you're lost anyhow. You don't understand and you need an assistant to help you and to support you. And we experimented like a few years ago quite a bit with WebRTC, but we realized it's an art. Because a demo, that's easy. But then the uh, connectivity gets bad and you get all kinds of security questions and that be then it becomes a real art and that's why we screened the market and we said, no, we are not going to do that. We focus on that workflow. It's more than complex enough. We get to be the specialist in that and we connect with third parties and we screen the market and, and we found that AMA and Experta is definitely one of the best out there. And so we decided to integrate and collaborate with that, but that uh, Philip can explain in a second. From our side, what is the business case? better quality because you've do, done things first time right, uh, less uh, administration time, where did you put the paper, did you register it, if an auditor comes in, uh, where can I find it? It's all locked and so it's all transparent and uh, I would say compliant. And where do we make the difference? As I already emphasized, we focus heavily of, on execution, helping people at work with a very powerful workflow engine behind, device agnostic, it doesn't matter for us, and then we have that ar enterprise architecture to connect with all these ERP, LIMS, MES, you name it, systems. Hand over to Philippe. Thanks, Peter. EMA is, oops, EMA is a sister company apart from a Gamer Group, sister of Ubisoft, Gamo, Gamo is making uh, tools for game like Thrustmaster, Hercule, and so on. We started in 2004 in gaming. As we were in gaming, we became quickly a Google partner. And then in 2013, we were able to get the Google Glass in Europe. For the we were the first company to get the Google Glass in Europe in 2013. At the beginning, we start to make some game with the Google Glass. And uh, as when we started to do this, we met a surgeon who asked us if it would be possible 
to make some live surgery in order to teach people in Japan. Then we make the software and we saw that there is a real um, add value to do remote assistance video conference starting in 2014 with the first surgery, live surgery between France and, and Japan. The company started like this and we grew up. Now we are 100. We have expertise in Microsoft, Qualcomm, uh, Android and WebRTC and we build a complete video conference solution. Our solution is made with several models. You can see Meet, which manage who will be able to discuss with who, just because sometimes you want to discuss with everybody, but sometimes you want to limit some functionality, some discussion between a supplier and a guy from your company. It's managed by the Meet uh, model. We have a model named Shared, which manage all the collaborative tool, whiteboard, taking photos, sharing documents, and so on, pointer, etc. We have a model C, which manage all the uh, capabilities, all the video capabilities in order to have the best resolution uh, regarding the, the bandwidth. Perform, which is a model which enable us to integrate enterprise workflow in order to connect the remote assistance with um, your app, your, your workflow, your work. Uh, for example, imagine you have uh, a working app on your phone. We are able to share the data of your app through the video conference. And then you, it's possible for a uh, supplier to help you in your work. We have also a model named Connect. With this model, we optimize the communication. The idea is to be able to work on 3G, 4G, Wi-Fi, but also satellite network. We have also two optional models, Proceed, which is based on Proceedix. The idea is to uh, be able to mix workflow and video conference. You start your workflow, you have a problem, you can quickly and automatically call an expert in order to help you in your workflow. Schedule, it's another model that we use in order to organize the expert um, team. Just because if you have 100 clients and two experts, if the 100 clients try to call the two experts, you have a bottleneck. The idea of schedule is to, is to be able to planify the intervention and to planify um, the organization of the expert team. Oops. Okay. All those models are in three products. Light is the bring all your own device, your own device product. That means you come with your desktop, your mobile, your tablet, and you are able to do a video conference like you can do with many of them. Except that we added the option schedule and proceed. That means you can mix video conference and workflow. You can also, if you have the license, invite a guest. Imagine you are working on a machine and you have a, an issue on this machine. It's possible to just send a SMS, an email to your supplier in order to help you to repair the machine and do not waste any time. That's light. And you do it with your own phone. Essential is the connected glasses solution. Everything is on your head. That means if I take a smart glasses like this one, we have the complete solution in it. It works on real wear, it works on, on other glasses. The idea is to stay hand-free and be able to send what you see to your expert and stay hand-free. Third, third solution, the premium one, the premium one, advanced, which allow you to do video conference, allow you to share what you see, but also share multiple video inputs. Just because we integrated video input from endoscope, from microscope, from ultrasound cameras, from thermal cameras, and so on. Oops. Oops. As I explained, Light, the first product, is a video conference 
uh, product, classic, with, uh, an, uh, with a whiteboard, sorry, whiteboard with a Zoom uh, functionality, with image sharing, audio video call, and chat. It's a classic one. Essential, on your head, it's the first optimized uh, head-up video conference system. The idea is to say hand-free and to, we simplify the solution in order to be usable by anybody. Advanced, as I explained before, is the premium solution, is work with smart glasses, you work also with your smartphone, with your tablet, with your desktop, and it's possible to add many cameras, like underscope, microscope, native camera, ultrasound like the Philips one, FLIR for the thermal camera, and we had more and more and more video input. It's also able to connect to your app, the app you have on your phone, in order to send all the, uh, your working app data through the video conference. That means it's possible for an expert to help you in your work on your own app without any development. Proceed is the link we did with uh, Prosidix. The idea is to find a way to do one plus one equal three. Imagine you start your procedure, as I explained before. You have a problem, you can quickly call somebody to help you on your procedure. So you come from Prosidix, go to Expertise and back. But not only. Imagine you are on the field and you are a newbie. That means you start working, you don't know the procedure well, it's possible for an expert to send in your eye the procedure and to control what you are doing, just because you will be able to send what you see, if I take the glasses, you will, all the, all the thing I see will be transferred to the expert and inside the display I have the procedure. That means the expert is able to control that I'm doing well the work he explained to me. And then we are in a training session and then I'm, I'm able to well understand the procedure and then the next time I will be able to do the procedure better and better. We know that remote support is not so easy. Even if we simplify the, the application, sometimes we need to help company to deal with remote assistance. That's why we have a support, support team, which made some training, but also discuss with enterprise, discuss with company in order to help the integration of the remote assistance inside the company, uh, the integration of the remote assistance inside the workflow of the company. What's the benefit? The benefit of mixing proceed and uh, remote assistance is to have something, that's, it's two application data uh, complement. Sorry, uh, sorry, I don't know the word in English. <laughs> And we can go from one to the other one. We can do training, but we are also able to add new feature to proceed. Currently, when you use the Prosidix, you will be able to use your own camera, the native camera, if you want to take a photo, if you want to take a video to fill the procedure, you have to use your native camera. As we, in Expertise, added many video inputs, it's possible to take photo from an endoscope, from a microscope, from an echograph, ultrasound uh, scan, from a uh, thermal camera in order to fill the procedure. So it's not only on what you see, but also what you will be able to see through a specific camera. So this partnership help us. We have in Expertise the part of the procedure that we did not have before, and Prosidix have now a new tool in able to, to have more and more video input. Thanks. <laughs>